Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 bringing you another one of my tournament matches. This is my second match against Sickles. I'm playing Grekum, and Sickles is also playing Grekum. And this one, I have actually watched the replay, I'll be honest, because I want to show you something. This is Sickles. Sickles is my opponent. He's playing Grekum. And he's starting off rather interestingly. He started off build, setting up his Arcticus, actually just sending it out over here. Building just a basic triad down here to build up, and at the same time, I'm just going and building triad. I have my triad up sooner, and I have some more units, some octos coming up pretty quickly. But Sickles, actually, I should mention, sorry, I am about 30 seconds ahead of Sickles. Sickles right now is 15 seconds behind present, or about 34 seconds into the game. I'm going to be switching between the two of us for now. This is a this is something that you can do in Akron replays, but I wasn't doing it for my last one because I wanted to make it like an FP VOD. This one, I want to show what Sickles does. Because what Sickles does is very interesting. You see, he has seven resource processors, like I do, and like I said, I'm about almost a minute ahead of him. I have five resource processors on LC and one on QP. And at the same time, I'm sending forward a small attack force just to try to head him out. Because I don't know if he's going for chrono boarding really quickly, I just want to go for a bit of a quick rush. At the same time, I'm sending a Sepia Nefaro up to create a causally independent triad in case he attacks me so that I can rebuild and attack, go back in time and save myself. At the same time, Sickles, about a minute or 30 seconds behind me, has started building up Octos. He has all Liquid Crystal processors, another Liquid Crystal processor, so he has eight LCRPs. And at the same time, he has everything, he has a large rush coming in about a minute before I hit. So from my point of view, I'm hitting about a minute in the future with an Octo coming in and not doing too much damage. So I see the Octos, but I can't really do too much about them. I have my triad, or my new triad going to the top, and actually the Thermon resources stocked up. At the same time, Sickles, who has now come to view this, sees the Octo come in, and now he's, okay, so sees the attack. I see he's actually got quite a lot of resources. At this point, he's built up more QP RPs, and also trying to attack his triad, but at this point he has too many Octos coming in, so my Octo and his Octo is going to be pretty evenly matched, because it's the same unit, of course, and this Octo is going to come in to finish it off. So, at this point, I've dealt really no damage to him, and he has four Octos coming into my main base. So, I'm here about 10 seconds before those four Octos are down there, with an Octopod and a couple defenses of my own, but I don't have a huge amount of defenses. I still don't have a huge economy, actually. I've been building up, trying to go very fast tech, very fast Spire. I have advanced buildings, I have a Spire coming out, so I'll air units quickly. Octopod as well. The Octopod comes and sees the Octos, the Octos and the Octopod are attacking. The Octos are dealing a lot of damage to the Octopod. I'm getting another couple of my Octos coming in to try to help out, but they're not going to be able to do too much. The Octos, there's four Octos coming in. I need to back up my Octopod, try to get it in range. I'm going to need to build up a dome and try to get it in range, try to get also in range of my reef so it can heal up on its own. But at this point, the Octopod is not doing very well. I'm trying to get my own Octos coming in. My own Octos are doing a fair amount of damage. The Faro is also hitting a bit, but the Faro is taking a lot of damage. The Faro is going to be killed very quickly as soon as this Octo comes in and finishes it off. From Sickles' point of view, however, Sickles has actually come in. He has this as well, but he's also building a bunch of another QPRP, and he has a bunch of Octos coming down here, all three of them, to set up more resource processors. So he has about twice the economy I have at this point. He also has a Reef at just finished, now getting advanced structure, so his tech is a lot slower, but he has a bunch of units, now two Octopods and three Faros, just in case I go for any Faropods, Chronoport back Faropods, whatever. As well, he has this whole base set up as well, so he's really made use of all Stone Pass's ample economy, which, just for the record, has been changed. I did upgrade the I did update this map, and the economy has been toned down a bit. Now, I'm actually a fair bit in the future, so I haven't seen any of this coming yet. I'm sending my own little rush, but it's a little late. Because if you look at this, at this point, Sickles is actually dealing... He's found my... He's found my triad. Okay, so he's found my independent triad. And at this point... Okay, so I'm going to be in a really bad spot. Because my independent triad, which is what I needed to recover from a big rush in order to chronoport back and save myself, does not exist. So I cannot send units back in time without risking a paradox. Now, at this point, I've jumped back because I want to see if I can do anything, change my build in any way. At this point, I haven't really done too much. I haven't seen what he has, that he has a whole lot of economy and that I should really try to make up for this difference. At this point, I'm just trying to set up what I can. Jumping back to the future, try to figure out what's going on. I see that my... So now my... Oh, man, I see this. This is bad. This is very bad. My independent triad is out, so I am losing everything. At this point, all I have is my main base. If that's get attacked hard, that gets attacked hard, I am screwed. On the other hand, Sickles, who's about 30 seconds ahead of me, actually 45 seconds, is sending out another attack. He actually has... He's seeing my attack coming in. 
but he has a couple of fire pods already. Three fire pods already. He doesn't have. He actually does have chrono porting. He's now sent the fire pods back in time. So at this point, the fire pods are going back to help him out. So he's done really well for himself. So this is what I'm trying to sh show people. Seven resource processors on liquid crystal. Another one down here as well. Lots of resources, lots of economy. This is a very powerful build. Now, from my point of view, I don't see this coming in. I just see coming in, dealing a fair amount of damage. I don't see any fire pods up yet. As far as I know, he hasn't actually gotten the fire pods yet. He's actually a bit late on them. But really, the fire pods have actually jumped back in time and just haven't hit me yet. And also, this Arcticus is actually distracting my forces really well. So, my fire pod's coming in here. My fire pod has hit. I think I also have. I do have not chrono porting. I do not have chrono porting. I need to get chrono porting, but I don't get it. I just haven't gotten it yet. While at the same time, Sickles, like I said, has gotten chrono porting and the attack has hit. So there is a bunch of fire pods coming into attack. At the same time, well, not the same time, actually, three minutes later, Sickles will attack me with an, a large force. So I have fire pods coming in about two minutes before, the, or three minutes before the point I'm looking. And Sickles, as well, is looking at this point. So we're synced up. And are syncing up. Unfortunately, we're slightly out of sync, so we get the blur effect. So at this point, Sickles is dealing a lot of damage, and is going to be dealing a lot more damage in the past, about three minutes ago, when those fire pods actually hit and the effect is noticeable. My fire pod has come in, is dealing some damage, or trying to anyway. And the fire pod, once it comes in, it's cloaked, it's doing some stuff. We're paused at the right edge of the time, so I can look around, and from the looks of it, if you go back, I've actually jumped back a bit just to try to review my attack. My attack, I'll just come in trying to hit the semi pod because the semi pod is going to be a real big problem. But at the same time, fire pods. Here are the fire pods that we saw before who have come back in time and started really. They've been tearing apart my base. At the same time, I had some base up here, but not much. So my base is being torn, torn to shreds. I'm going to. I really need to try to do what I can. At this point, I'm going to go back. I see the fire pods coming in, so I've got to jump back even further. So I'm about two minutes before the fire pods actually. Or two minutes before the base destruction. The fire pods have still hit me. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to get some sepi pods up, go back even further. So now I'm about a minute before the sep the fire pods actually hit in the first place. So from my point of view, nothing is hit yet. I need to build up, I need to get a dome up, because domes are actually quite useful against fire pods. And I also need to get myself some sepi pods, but I don't know if I actually do that. That'd be very useful if I did though. The same at four minutes in the future though, or actually now a minute in the future, he jumped back right as I switched. Four minutes in the future, never mind. Sickles is throwing my base four minutes in the future. He's also looking a minute in the future to see what happened there, but at this point, I'm just trying to save myself. He has another set of autos coming in, just in case. It looks like the autos are coming in also to build... No, not to build anything. They're just coming in to attack. So, at the same time, my base, or three minutes ago, my base, I see there is an attack coming in. I see Farpods, or Sepipods coming in. Sepipod chronoported back as well. And this is when I realized, oh crap, he's chronoported. He has chronoported back units. He has chronoported the entire time. Somehow he managed to get chronoporting and a rush. At this point, I was thinking... Oh man, how am I supposed to get- yeah, how the hell did you get chronoporting? You had a rush going. I did not see your economy. And that's right, I didn't see the economy. A lot of economy, and that's what I want to show. That is a powerful build. And at this point, as you can see, it's pretty clear I have lost. Like, I really don't have a lot of stuff to do. I have been defeated. But this is a very powerful build. I just wanted to show this as a demonstration. Not so much- I know this wasn't the most entertaining replay in terms of my own commentary, but this is a very useful demonstration. There's a lot you can do with a very strong economy early on. And like I said, I rushed him. Because the thing is, rushes, rushes are okay against economy builds. They're better against tech builds. But this is a pure economy build. And yeah, that just happened. So Sickles beat me completely, completely trounced me with a very powerful economy rush. However, I know what he did. So join me next time when I use the economy rush against my next opponent. For now, have a good night.